Hi, I'm Rie. Today, a friend will be challenging me to take a popular food and make it fancy. Who's the friend? It's Jasmine. Let's see what she wants me to make fancy today. Hey, Rie, it's me, Jasmine. It's boba. You know me, I love boba. I love drinking it, I love eating it. I'll have it in any size, preferably an extra large. To me, boba is not a trend. It is a way of life. I've seen people do a lot of unique takes on boba. So I have pretty high expectations, but you're Rie after all. So I'm very much looking forward to what you're gonna come up with. Good luck and goodbye. Boba. I had boba before. I like boba, but I'm not as huge fan as Jasmine. I have a tripophobia. Tripophobia is if you see something small, round thing, bunch of it, it makes me uncomfortable. And boba is kind of have that vibe. <laughs> I like kind of gummy texture. I like the chew. I think Jasmine is a tough guest to please because she loves boba. One Halloween, she dressed up like boba too. I think she wanna be a boba. This is fine right now. It just makes me uncomfortable. I'm not gonna cry or anything. <laughs> so this is made with tapioca starch. If it's not cooked, it's quite hard. There are a lot of people making cool stuff with boba. I feel like Jasmine has seen it all. So it's gonna be pretty hard to impress her with something new. But I have some ideas and I'm excited to make it fancy. Right, here's what I got. Eggs, milk, half and half, coconut flour, almond flour, white chocolate, and citric acid. From the pantry, I got black tea, apple cider vinegar, gelatin powder, canola oil, sugar, coconut oil, baking soda, salt, cocoa powder, food coloring, espresso powder, lemon extract, and vanilla extract. All right, let's get started. Make it fancy. Boba edition. Before we start, we have new merch, Make It Fancy apron. You can find it at makeitfancy.com. <laughs> you can find it at shopmakeitfancy.com. I have three and a half tablespoon of gelatin. Bloom this. You have to bloom it with cold water first, about five minutes. And meanwhile, put water and sugar and citric acid. Citric acid is for flavoring and also to make clear jelly. You don't want to boil this, so this is start getting a little bubble and steam. So I'm going to take off from the heat and add bloomed gelatin, lightly whisk, lemon extract, one teaspoon. And I learned making other video, the cap is actually one teaspoon. So you can use the cap. Gelatin is completely dissolved. Use large pitcher so I don't spill. Adding to round glass bowl. I'm gonna lay this down to room temperature and chill in the refrigerator about one hour. I took out this gelatin dome and I have yellow colored boba pearl. It's already cooked. Kind of want to put it in the center. So using a stick, kind of push until where you want it to be. We put this in a refrigerator about one hour and a half, so it's kind of semi-settled. If it's too still runny, and if the pearl is sinking, you can put it in the freezer about five to 10 minutes. So things are kind of floating in the middle. I want to set this gelatin dome fully set. It will take about six hours to overnight. To be safe, I'm going to wait overnight and I will see you tomorrow. 24 hours later. We are back, we are well rested. There are plenty of things to do, so let's get started. One tablespoon gelatin powder. You know what you have to do, bloom gelatin. And wait about five minutes. Heat, half cup of milk and sugar. You don't wanna boil milk either. You just want to kind of let the sugar melt. It start getting like little bubbles. So I'm gonna take off from the heat. Add broom the gelatin melt. Make sure the gelatin is completely dissolved. And then add rest of the milk, half cup. So I'm adding white food coloring makes the other color pops or 
side of the cup and the rest of the mixture in different cup. Two, three drops of green food color into one third cup of milk mixture. Three drops of pink. It matches your spatula. Yeah, so it doesn't stain. That was all coordinated. Did you realize green was green? This is still a little bit too warm. So I'm going to cool down to room temperature and move on to next step. Bloom gelatin with black tea, lightly whisk. And I'm going to heat up more black tea and sugar. And you want to heat it up, but you don't want to boil. Make sure all the sugar is melted. Right now, there is a boba shortage. I've heard about this. Was it the ship that caused it? I think it's because Jasmine is eating too much boba. <laughs> Jasmine, it's a problem. <laughs> sugar has melt, set aside, and put back the bloomed gelatin. Gelatin is melted, add half and a half, creating boba flavor, but jelly form. I'm going to put boba pearls on the bottom of a cake pan. So I just cook this boba um, according to the package and pour over milk tea mixture. And I'm going to set this in the refrigerator until set about five hours. And we have plenty more things to make it fancy. It is room temperature now, and we have jelly dome, and it has a yellow boba pearls inside. I have special tools almost look like a surgery and we also have a syringe what if if we make something like not edible <laughs> like i made fancy but it's not food take out all the air pull so i have only one shot i cannot make mistakes so please send me strings maybe my hand gonna shake i'm making a little petals i think this one was popular and I always wanted to try. So what I'm trying to do is insert this part and inject. So I'm making kind of like petal. Oh, but it's going, it's, it's, it's pretty. As you can see from the top, everything is covered with pink, so I cannot see. So I'm putting in a freezer about one minute and come back and we're gonna keep going. So the top layer colors gelatin, it sets so I can easily peel off it to look like a slime. It looks good, but doesn't look like a perfect flower shape. So I'm going to fix it, hopefully. Same thing, gelatin in a syringe. Ooh, nice. Okay, it's looking good. So like spill happens, so it's still a little bit difficult. It's kind of guessing, like. I clean the top, so I'm going to one more round with pink. The flower petal doesn't look even, so I'm going to put more petal. I think this is good. All right, here's what it looks like right now. Move on to leaf. Want to put like four or five leaves. Yes, that's pretty. Yes, I had one shot. I'm happy what it turned out. Thank you so much for sending me strengths. It worked. And I'm going to set this in the refrigerator about one hour. And while it's chilling, I'm going to do more stuff. I have one cup water and I have boba pearls. Bring this to a boil and cook for 15 minutes. Is this triggering? This one is not too bad. I think once you Put in a mesh sieve. It's a little bit too much. Water came to a boil. It smells good. And it's becoming a little bit, like something makes me uncomfortable. Because <laughs> it absorbs the water and it become a little bit big and it's expanded and there is no space. So it's, yeah, let's get put it in a blender. <laughs> so I don't need to see it. I'm fine. I just don't want to see something like frog egg. Don't Google, cover. And you want to blend until smooth. Adding three quarter cup of almond flour, one egg, two tablespoons of coconut flour, six tablespoons of milk, two tablespoons of canola oil, half cup of sugar, half teaspoon of baking soda, half teaspoon of espresso powder, six tablespoons of cocoa powder, three quarter teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, half teaspoon of vanilla extract, quarter teaspoon of salt. 
Blend our cake. Blend everything in. I realized I didn't put water because blender was struggling. Quarter cup of water. So water is in and let's blend. I'm making gluten-free cake, so you can make a lot of gluten-free cake in a blender because gluten doesn't form. Don't use blender when you're making regular cake because it will ruin cake's texture. It's gonna be very gummy. Scrape the side, make sure everything is blending in. Smells so good. So I have six inch cake pan, cut out six inch parchment paper, spray the pan and pour chocolate cake batter. Instead of tapioca flour, I use the boba pearls because it's made with tapioca. Bake this at 350 for 35 to 40 minutes or do the toothpick test and comes out clean, it's ready. The chocolate cake is baked and cold and I'm going to cut them. We put this in a cake board so it's easier to transfer. And this is my boba milk tea mousse. Just want to make sure I can remove this from the pan easily. So I'm kind of scraping the side and flip. Going to put hot water bowl. I hear the sound. <laughs> yes. All right, so it looks good. This is the jelly dome I made earlier, and I'm gonna just peel off extra jelly on the surface. So my cake and milk jelly is assembled, and I'm going to take this off from the mold. Since gelatin melts in a high heat, Putting this in uh, warm water, give a bath, my little jelly baby. <laughs> Push the side. I'm just trying to release the jelly from the mold. All right, we only have one shot. I'm spreading my leg so I have a better bath. Oh my God, look at this. Don't break. Yes. I did it, mom! <laughs> <laughs> it could break in half and this is two days process so I didn't want to make it like four days process for everyone's sake. This is beautiful from the top, the side is not fancy so let's make it fancy. To hide imperfection I'm going to use white chocolate and coconut oil. When you are doing some chocolate decoration, coconut oil helps to set. Make sure I use double boiler so chocolate doesn't burn. Chocolate has melted. Pour this into piping bag. Cut the tip and from here. It's kind of free form. And I'm kind of going circle. I think a little bit of like gap looks nice. This film is called acetate. It's very flexible plastic, so it's very helpful when you're making decoration. You can see the white chocolate color is becoming a little bit opaque and it's now ready to put. Going to press against and gently press so it will stick together. I'm going to put this in the freezer about five minutes so chocolate will set and stick together. And we will see the moment of truth. Send me strength. I take off my cake with color from the freezer and a moment of truth. Are you nervous? A little bit. Yes. Yay! <laughs> and we are done. Boba jelly flower cake, very fancy. Let's see what Jasmine thinks. Hi, Jasmine. Hi. Hi. So I made a mini version for you. What? What? That is insane, Rie. <laughs> Your brain works in just like crazy ways. This is beautiful i i did not expect this at all i mean i was expecting something very fancy and very extravagant each layer had some boba in it boba in each layer good 
Do you want to cut the slice? Oh my goodness. It's kind of scary, right? It's like... It's like so delicate and like I kind of don't even want to cut it because it's so beautiful. Nice. Nice slice. All right. So I also got my slice. Bacho, cheers. 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 <laughs> Whoa. This is insane. So, Jasmine, did I make this fancy? You 100% made this super, super fancy. So, there's one thing left to do. Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Of course I remember. Three, two, one. Make, make it, it fancy. fancy. <laughs>